As you can see, the tomatoes are doing great. We have had such delicious fruit off of these plants. But came upon an interesting thing here that I'd like for you to see. And Penny is going to tell you what in the world this creature you're looking at is. This is a tomato hornworm. It's the caterpillar phase. It starts in the soil as a pupa and works its way out to this phase. If you'll notice, it has a horned tail, henceforth, the tomato hornworm. It's going to eat the leaves and occasionally it will eat some of the green tomatoes. You can see there where he was eating on that leaf, but when I zoomed in with the camera, see right there, he decided to back off and curl his fat little head up because I guess he's camera shy. Now pan to the tomato. But this isn't the only visitor to our garden. In fact, the only way that we knew he was here is because we had this green tomato that was being eaten. And look there. There's another one. You see him? Mm -hmm. The baby. Then he just found another one and he is still munching away. You can actually, I think, see him eating. Oh, and there's another one. We're inundated with them. They come out at night. Let's see. It's on the back. But then we found even something more interesting. This will blow your mind. Look what's on the back of this tomato hornworm. There he is. You're tempted to think that those are the eggs and that they will hatch and eat all of the tomatoes. But in God's wonderful plan, that's actually a parasitoid, meaning it is a parasitic wasp who has laid its eggs on the back of the hornworm. The parasitoid means it not only lives off of the body fluid of the caterpillar, but it's actually going to burrow into its flesh and actually kill the caterpillar. So in essence, God is taking care of this hornworm from eating all our tomato plants. We won't kill this hornworm or remove it because those wasps are going to do it for us and then they're going to go out after all the other hornworms. There he is. There he is. And that's the Gucci science lesson for, for the day. today. God bless. What an amazing thing.